Hmm? Ah, sh Hey guys, this is See What, and I am playing with strangers, and this is Uprising, the new PvE event in Overwatch. Uh, basically, I've been playing this quite a bit since it came out last week, and there are a couple of achievements I'm still trying to get. And, uh, well, actually, I think the only two that remain that I still need are to beat the basic Uprising, which is this one, on Expert and Legendary. I am not ready to take on Legendary yet, so here here we are doing some expert. Uh, fingers crossed it goes well. I haven't tried in a few days and previously did not go well, but I've learned a few things since then, specifically about the end bosses where we were usually getting fucked. So fingers crossed this all works out in the end. So for those of you who have been living under a rock because I've put this out a lot later than I had originally uh, intended to, or at least recorded something and it's a lot later than I originally intended to, Uprising is the new PvE mode, the new events in Overwatch, and it is sweet. It is very similar to the Halloween event they did last year, uh, the Revenge of Dr. Junkenstein, in that it's four players, fixed players, against basically enemies. There's a bunch of objectives, but it's all PvE, AI, and it's uh, it's it's really fun. And it's, it's important in the fact that it is the first story of any kind in Overwatch, like in the game itself, which is really cool. Like, I love Overwatch watch and it's a super fun multiplayer game that doesn't need a story. I don't think every multiplayer game needs a story, although I do like it sometimes. But in the case of something like this, I really want a single player story for no other reason than the little bits of, uh, you know, the, the little bits of lore that get dropped here and there and the animated things and the comics and all of that make the characters so goddamn interesting that I want to play a story with them. So this is, this is like a nice introduction to what, you know, I, what a single player campaign might feel about if they ever did it. Or a multiplayer campaign like this. Come get some, bitch. Give me your arm. So, we're fighting against Null Sector, which are a bunch of bad Omnics. Or maybe they're just robots? Like, are Omnics specific to, like, the race? Or is that just a term for any robot? I should uh, look that up. I don't want to be accidentally racist. Boom! Give me your shield arm. Uh oh. Where are they? Alright, I'm on top of them. Get them. Get him. Get him. All right. All right. That's not a, that's not a bad use of it. Oh. Woo. Let's just uh. Oh yeah, we're getting accidentally fucked up really bad here for right now. So I'm getting that heal on. Fucking Christ! Where was Torb? All right. Well, we got the extra heal going. There we go. Now we got enough. I don't know what that Torb was doing. I did not feel like anyone was putting any damage out behind my goddamn shield that I was trying to use to protect to help get the tracer up off the ground. But anyway, so currently we're doing capture objectives. This is the third one. They're usually pretty straightforward to go through. Fucking Christ, Torbjorn. Resum, resum quickly. Good job. Woo! All right, let's get our friends up. And they're up. I don't, I don't know what's going on with that Torbjorn. And they left. Please let someone fill that gap. Oh boy. Yeah, without a tur without a turret helping clean up, this is going to be problematic. Well, let's get this bomb out of here. And then just really back it up. So I'm getting fucked. And I got killed from behind. And we just lost the mercy. And we just lost the tracer. Awesome. Let's get out of here. The big downside to this mode is that, assuming you have a full roster, <laughs> uh, you're not really gonna lose in the first 10 to 15 minutes. You're not- you're basically gonna lose either at the arse end of protecting the payload when the Bastions start showing up, or the payload will be destroyed during transit, or you'll die at the final bosses. Like, that's- that's usually how that's gonna go down. And it means when you do lose there, you have to go through the same 10 to 15 minutes of stuff that you- you pretty much never gonna lose in and it's just this all right i guess i'll stand on the point tob figure out where you want to set up your turret and set it up what are you doing where is your turret do you have a turret up dude where is your turret you're freaking me out now i don't want two flaky torbjorns in a row right it's my uh oh boy that's not good dude my shield is not gonna last this fucking cr 
Why was your turret not up? All right, so this time I'm going as Torbjorn. Two flaky Torbjorns has made me go, all right, let me try my own hand at this. Let's get it lined up for there. I don't really have a good placement for the first one, apart from just this, to cover that doorway and then cover down there. Um, yeah. Oh boy, that's a lot of them. It's just shotgun blast. Oh boy. Hey! Get off my friend! Oh shit, I thought I killed you. I did not. Uh, wow. Now I'm the flake. Jesus Christ. Yeah, I'll just melee him to death. Oh boy. I'm out. Uh, uh, why reload? I'll just melee him a couple of times. No. Idiot. 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 The building of a new home for the Omnics in London. Oh my god. Skip it. Charge it through. Coming through. Now yeah, let's start this hack. All right, pick a spot, Torb. I'm going to protect you while you put it up. Pick a spot, Torb. All right. Let's protect it from them for the moment while he beats it up. And it is beat. And she's up. Good job, Mercy. All right, you want to you wanna repair that turret? Seriously, now's the perfect time to repair that turret. Why are you not repairing that turret? Look at it. It's smoking. It's got sparks coming out of it. Seriously, dude, you were right next to it. You know how much time you had to repair that turret? So much time. Okay. Right. Damn it! Are you kidding me? This is actually really depressing because previously when I was trying Expert, I almost always made it to when the cart was on the move. Four attempts in now? I've only gotten to the cart once, and that was shorter player. All right, Torb, pick your spot. Pick your spot, Torb. All right, it's a good spot. All right, Torb, you set up where you want to set up. All right, so start on the left, and then move to the right, because the left one's come down first. All right, now we're going to have the little laser guys coming in. Whoop. Nice. Taking care of the slices. Oh, totally forgot about the ones on the right. All right. Now, because we actually have a turret up this time, it means I can focus more on just keeping the shield up to block the slices. All right, two eradicators. This is a problem. All right, smashed them both down. Straight through. Took out one of them. The other one's almost dead. He's dead. All right, thank you, thank you, thank you. All right, here we go. Just going to focus on letting them put out damage, and then I'm going to charge it away. Shit! Shit! I was supposed to pin it. I did not. But we got it in the end anyway. So that's something. Thank God for that torp turret. All right. Let's take... Don't fucking miss the bomb again! Fucking Christ. No! Shit! God damn it. I totally fucking fumbled that. So much fail. God damn it! Fuck! That was totally my- that was my bad. Searching for people who suck as much as you. Dang! Alright, game. Jeez. This is the one. I can feel it. Uh, no, you don't step on it until the Torbjorn's down here, because he's the slowest, he doesn't have any mobility, and now we've got enemies coming out that he's gonna have to protect his goddamn turret from while he's trying to set it up. Also, if he's going where I think he's going, I tried setting up there once, it did not go well. I died. I cannot be shot from behind. You only cover one area. Well, I can cover about 180 degrees.
Great work with the healing, Mercy. I'll send you my consultation fee. And Tracer, you were all over those Null Sector fucks. Cheers, love! Tob! It was great having someone who actually knew how to use the turret for once. Glad to have my uh, little Swiss friend helping out. For the last time, I'm Swedish! And we definitely defeated Null Sector on Legendary and Expert. Boom!